My name is Beth Johnson, and I am Professor of Speech and Theater at Finger Lakes Community College. And I'm here to talk to you today about opportunities that you could have to study or participate in theater when you come to college. So I'm gonna share a little slideshow today to talk about these things. And there are primarily three things that we're gonna to cover today. The classes that we have that you could take as a person studying in a degree program in theater, classes that you could take regardless of what program of study you're in, productions that you could be involved in, in either case, right? Whether or not you wanted to study theater or just keep doing it sort of as an avocation, something that you love and are passionate about, but you are planning a different career path. And also a club that we have, a theater club that has lots of fun opportunities for travel. So to begin with, we do have an AA theater arts program that is a 64 credit program. That means that you accumulate classes up to that 64 credit point. And it is part of SUNY, which is the State University of New York system. So all the four year schools and community colleges together. And there's a transfer path in theater where if you take um, classes here, you automatically transfer in as a junior when you go to that four year school. But before that, I want to talk to you a little bit about the productions that we do on campus. And these are productions that are open to everyone. So it's not a matter of if I'm studying theater or I'm in that theater program, I get to do these productions. We have open auditions for people, sometimes even in the community and faculty, to allow um, people to participate. So in the fall is our big production, our bigger production that we alternate each year. So one year we'll do a musical, and then the next year in the fall, we'll do maybe a drama or a comedy or a thriller. My goal here as we put together our production season is to provide opportunities for students to watch and participate in lots of different styles of theater while they're here for the two years. We also have a couple of classes that offer productions. One of them is MIME which is a class that theater students and students in the American Sign Language program have to take, but it's a physical education course that's open to anyone. Most programs here at FLCC require you to have some physical education credits, not every year or every semester, like in your high school and your middle school, but at least a couple credits while you're here. So this is a popular class. People take it from all over campus. And then in the spring, we do a couple of different things. One, we alternate again. One year, we'll do our children's theater tour, which is a class, again, open to anyone, where we produce, rehearse, and tour a children's theater production to local primary and elementary schools. Every year, we do a huge spring arts festival, which is a large end of the year celebration that covers our entire department. So theater is housed within the visual and performing arts department, which includes music, music recording, video, digital media, fine art and graphic arts. And so we as a large department come together to show off the work of all of our students over the year, over the year. Yeah, and it's got lots of music, it's got lots of art, video productions. We try to be really creative and we've done shows about Woodstock, we've done shows about the Beatles, we did, um, we're preparing to do a FLCC on Broadway production, which we will um, remount when COVID is over. So lots of opportunities with classes as well. So there are acting classes open to everyone and advanced acting classes that do scene work and small productions at the end of the semester for those. This is our not the best quality picture, but gives you a sense of the beauty of our auditorium space here. It's brand new, seats over 400 people. Acoustically, it's amazing. A very new technology in terms of lighting and stage equipment. So we're very excited to have that as our primary performance space. But we also have spaces um, that are sort of black box lab spaces that are smaller, as well as a multimedia space, stage 14, that lots of people use for different events. So I'm going to talk about classes now for a moment. So when we talk about curriculum, 
curriculum is a word that means these are the classes that you have to take as part of any program of study. So if you want to be in viticulture, if you want to be in nursing, if you want to be in psychology or theater, you're going to have a set of classes that you take. As part of that, I highlighted this word here, general education core. Those are classes that everybody takes, kind of like you're doing now, English, math, science. So there'll be some of those core classes that everybody does. Then depending on your program, there will be classes that are determined. These are the have to takes because you want to study theater or music or video production. So for us, that essential core, and these are the classes that SUNY says students have to take if they want to transfer to a four year school in theater, acting, introduction to technical theater, two theater history classes, one that's early theater history, Greeks through the Renaissance, one that is the latter part from the Romantics right around the 1800s up to contemporary. And then there's a dramatic literature course. So these are the ones that you have to take. Now, the good news is if you're not thinking about, oh, I, I know that I want to study theater and it's okay not to know what you want to study, right? More often than not, right? People are making decisions and even changing their mind, right? While they're here or wherever you go to college, you might start one program, shift to something else. And there are lots of advisors and people to help you do that. These, the last three classes on this list, the theater histories and the dramatic lit actually count in general education core. Those histories count as histories. So you could be studying psychology and take one of these history classes to meet a requirement of that program. So that gives you the opportunity to still study theater, even though that may not be your primary degree focus. So I highlight those last three classes there. That dramatic literature course is also part of our humanities and honors program. So you can take it and get honors credit for that class. Then we have lots of other classes to choose from that are electives and allow you to kind of tune your study to your interest. So if you're a big performance actor person, maybe you want to take advanced acting and voice and diction. If you're into movement, you know, maybe you want to add some dance classes as electives. If you're a technical theater, we have stage design, there's directing, there's backstage and scene shot practicums. People who are interested in film and television might want to do video production, TV advertising, script writing. And then if you're a music person, you can continue to study your instrument. You can continue to take voice lessons and participate in vocal choirs and ensembles and keep your skills up, especially if you see yourself moving on in musical theater or wanting to study musical theater. So the last opportunity that we have is a theater club that's been around a very long time. And it's a student club. I serve as its advisor, but it's organized and governed by a group of officers, and then any student in the college can participate in the club. It's popular and has been around and so lively, I think, because we take two big trips a year. We go to the Stratford Shakespeare Festival in Ontario, Canada to see several shows there, tour backstage, get to see the um, costume and properties warehouse, which is amazing. If you're unfamiliar with the Stratford Festival, they're the largest um, regional theater in the world. And their productions go to Broadway, film studios rent their costumes and their scenic pieces because they're so, so well done. And then in the spring, we usually go to New York City to see a Broadway show. We go with the art club and go also to see the Guggenheim or the Met or one of the larger museums in New York and then have free time to run around. Apart from that, the club produces 10 minute play festivals. They have improv clubs, whatever the group of students decides that they want to do, they have the opportunity to, to do those things. And that might be going to a local theater like Jiva or Geneva or Pinyin and seeing their shows, you know, and it might be putting on their own special production. So thank you very much for tuning in and listening. Please know that it's okay to have lots of questions and to not be certain at this point, you know, what you want to do. And even once you start college, you might, you know, not be certain, but we have lots of people 
here to help advise you on what classes to take or what to try to see so that it can help you moving forward, you know, regardless of what you want to do. So thanks again. You know, please reach out for questions. Have a great day.